So this is the Big Blue 3 28 watt solar charger and I've had it for probably about six months. We use it, I'm kind of a light duty user, mostly like when we go on a picnic or something and I wanna be able to charge our devices, you know, at a picnic table. Um, we've done a little bit of hiking with it as well and it's come in really handy. So let me kind of show you the features and then I'll show you how I like to use it to get the most out of it. Um, it's a little over 11 inches long and I think about six and a quarter inches wide and at its thickest while it's folded here, it's about an inch and a half thick. You can see that right here, there's two eyelets as well as there'll be two at the opposite corners and those are for carabiners. So um, to open it up, it's got a Velcro uh, seal right here. You can see we open it up. It's kind of got some of the specifics about the outputs of each port. I don't know if you can see that very well. Um, over here is a pocket and I'll show you that in a minute, but fully extended. It's just over 32 inches in size. And so you can see the outlets here and that allows you, like I said, there's carabiners that come with it and you can hang it off a backpack or off the wall or something. But I typically use it by laying it out on a picnic table or, you know, the ground somewhere. Um, and I'll show you that in a second. The exterior is just all canvas. And I don't know if you can kind of see the stitching around the sides there. And then the four solar panels as well. Those are just stitched in, but it, it's, it feels very durable. So in the pouch, let's see if we can get enough light here so that you can see in the pouch. Um, you've got some room to be able to store things. This is where I keep a separate uh, uh, battery uh, power bank right there, and I'll show you which one I like to use. Um, as well as over here, you can see this is where the USB ports are. There are three of them, and they're under this weatherproof uh, sort of silicone cover. You've got three USB type A ports. They're rated to five volts at a max of 2.4 amps, which is about 12 watts of output. I've charged multiple devices at the same time, but if you connect more than two, it really seems to, the, 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 the charge on all three devices connected at once is pretty slow. So I wouldn't recommend more than two. And in fact, um, Big Blue says that the maximum output of the whole solar charger itself is um, five volts at 4.8 amps, which would add up to be just two of these ports. When it does get some power, let me turn into the sun there, if you can see the little light in the corner, that's telling you that it's getting some solar power. And uh, let me do this. I'm gonna put this down on the ground and get set up to show you how I like to connect my phone with the battery. All right, so I've got the Big Blue 3 solar charger spread out here on some rocks and I kind of see behind there, I've just got some bricks propping it up so that we get a better angle into the sun. That'll help us get more um, power output out of, the, out of the panels themselves. And I'm just gonna show you how I'm gonna hook up a Samsung S22 phone to it. Uh, it's really simple. Uh, to do that, you're going to need a uh, USB type A to USB type C cord. And it actually comes with this cord here, so you, it will include one. If you're going to connect multiple devices, though, you're going to need one of these for each device. So I'm just going to put the uh, type C into the phone. And then uh, let's see if I can get the right angle here. Open up this. And we can see, pull back the little silicone cover. You can probably see in there the little red light. And you can see that in there. That means that we're getting power output. And then I'm gonna connect the connector here. And let me get the phone ready. So we should see the phone light up to charge when that plugs in, and there you go. So we've got charge going into the phone. And um, you can just leave it like that. I do recommend that you don't leave your phone sitting in the sun while you're trying to charge it, because that will be bad for the charge. It's actually bad for the battery. So you would want to keep this in the shade. But this isn't normally how I would actually use this. I like to use a power bank first. So let me show you that. Um, the power bank I prefer to use is the Beak Tomex 10,000 milliamp hour power bank. And there's a couple good reasons for it, but let me kind of just show you the basic features. It's about three and a half inches by about two and a half inches. So it's just a little bit bigger than, than really what a credit card size is, credit card sizes. And it's about half an inch thick. It's got a power meter right here. If we can see this little circle and there's a button. I'm not sure how well it's going to read out here in the sunlight. 
you can see it's actually reading about 44 percent um it's got great texture and it's very fits in my hand really well but here's one thing i really like about it is in this pouch it fits perfectly you can see right there it fits perfectly it's the right thickness so it doesn't add any thickness to the panel <clears throat> And on top of that, it's got three ports. The most important one is this is the charging port when you connect your phone. This is a Gen 2 Type A port, so it's capable of 22 and a half watts of power. And then it's also got this USB-C port. This is where you chart how you charge the power bank. You can also connect another device and output charge with this. But this charging method on this is also fast charging so you can fast charge the power bank and the power bank can then fast charge your phone so the beaktel max 10,000 milliamp hour is just awesome but i just take that and instead of connecting my phone to the power bank or to the solar charger i connect my power bank to that and then i get another cable then i connect my phone to the power bank and this way i'm able to charge both my power bank and my phone let me get out of the way there uh, with the solar charger and then because this is detachable I can actually take all of this with me and not have to carry around the solar the big blue all the time so nice power bank this Vectope Max MX uh, 10,000 milliamp hour and the big blue solar panel uh, 28 watt solar charger are an excellent combination